was, that will be my first question. <laughs> And uh, how is your injury right now? Are we going to see you soon in the court? Well, I hope so, but uh, it is a little bit more complicated than we first thought. So it, it takes time. Those that inflammation of that that one nerve needs to calm down. So we are doing everything we can, and I hope, I hope so. In in a few weeks, two, three, four weeks, I'm going to be. Uh, ready to, to to play again and uh, we know that you love to play your for your national team but uh, that injury kept you away from the national team but they did good job they almost uh, won the finals but came up short what would you like to say about the uh, Serbian national team yeah well like you said I love to play that's why maybe I, I am in this position because I was pushing myself to, to try to play to I gave everything i i have maybe even more so that's why the injury got worse and but what to do I sp it always hard when you spend one month one month and a half maybe of your time during the summer and then you don't play you feel terrible but aside that they played amazing championship they that they proved one more time that serbia is basketball country that we know how to play basketball and whatever team we send to the championship we, we are always in in fight for the top for the medals and, and one more time I, I congratulated them many times one more time to say they they done amazing job i don't want to go to that story how many players we missed from maybe seven eight from last uh, Olympics from last year, but still it's a great result and too bad for the finals against Slovenia, but they were playing maybe the best uh, championship in history. And um, this injury kept you away from the preparation process for Fenerbahce, but what would you like to say about the team? Uh, there are some new uh, quality signings uh, during the summer. Yeah, yeah, well, like always, management done their part of the job. Now it's on us to, to, to prove that we are worthy, that that we can repeat the result from the last year. We lost uh, some some really important players from last year, but we brought some new replacements. So we will see. It, it takes time, but in my case, it's okay. It's good. I'm here two years, so I know the system of working of Jelko and the whole whole club. So it's going to be easier for me. But these other guys must involve themselves as soon as they can and to start playing great basketball at the beginning immediately. And one of these new signings is uh, Marko Guduric from Serbian national team, your ex-teammate. Uh, did you talk with him before he was coming here and what do you think he will add to this team? Yeah, well, well, we talked, of course, we were in the national team together. He 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 was asking many questions. <laughs> I don't like, I told him, wait, be patient, you will see everything. You don't have to know everything before you come, leave something to be surprised for you. Uh, but yes, he, he's a good guy, he's a young guy, he's hardworking, he will bring for sure his talent, his, his, his let's say, creativity, his, his ability to, to score from some hard positions and, and I think he, he, he will do good. Maybe, maybe not immediately, but as the time goes on, I think he will be better and better. And uh, since you guys are uh, European and both Turkish champions, uh, all of your opponents are going to play against you with uh, with an extra motivation. Do you think this is good for the team or it will make your job even harder? Yes, of course it will make our job even harder. We saw that last year and year before that, wherever you go in Turkish Championship, everybody wants to beat them, everybody are playing like it's their last game in their life, you know, and especially if we play, I don't know, third game or fourth game in that week, we are tired, we had traveling and they were waiting seven days or even maybe or more ten days they were preparing that game and they are ready like 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 beasts but uh, but that's normal that that's why we are here that's why we have deep roster i think even deeper roster this year than last year and that's going to help us also now we are the champions of europe also everybody wants to wants to wants to take us off from that position also always the the talking about about budget, CSKA, Fenerbahce, Real Madrid, everybody wants to be those teams and to prove themselves. But this is, we love that, we love that, that, uh, that, that's it. And my final question, do you believe, which one is tougher, winning a championship in Europe or keeping the championship in Europe? 
I don't know. I still didn't keep it, so I don't know how, <laughs> how hard is it. But I believe that everybody say, are saying that it's even more harder to stay on the top. But I think we have a good team, and if if we have a little bit luck, a little bit of health, I think we can repeat this result. Thank you, Kelly.